Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Halloween Season by Lucy A. Snyder. And this is from Raw Dog Screaming Press. This is a short story collection. And despite the cover, which is really cool, and I believe, I'm going to double check, I'm almost certain, yep, Lynn Hansen did that cover. Love Lynn Hansen's work. Um, but despite the cover and the title, these are barely Halloween stories. Um, that being said, this is a fantastic short story collection. Uh, we've got how many stories in here? A whole bunch. I'm not going to count that. You can see that table of contents. Um, so the, the first, well, the first story is actually a little poem. That's absolutely Halloween. And the second one, Hazelnuts and Yummy Mummies, takes place at Halloween. Uh, the thing is, I think, with the exception of maybe one or two, the stories take place at Halloween. There might be a reference to the fact that it's the Halloween season, but the stories themselves have nothing to do with the Halloween season. As a matter of fact, two of them, despite taking place at the end of October, are more Christmas stories than Halloween stories. Um, but again, with all that being said, fantastic stories. Uh, there's a lot of Cthulhu mythos going on in a bunch of these stories. Not all of them, but quite a few of them that dig into the Cthulhu mythos. So, just real quick, Hazelnuts and Yummy Mummies is about an author at a convention and... Some stuff goes down. It is a very heartfelt story. Uh, oh, and the, the stories range from, well, heartfelt to terrifying to quite funny. Cosmic Cola, the second story. I really dig this. It's one that delves into sort of the Cthulhu mythos. And with both uh, Cosmic Cola and Visions of the Dream Witch, the next story, which also has Cthulhu mythos connections, uh, Lucy Snyder has built, within these short stories, <coughs> excuse me, has built this bigger world. And I have not read, I've not read a lot of her stuff, so I don't know if they actually are part of a bigger world that she has, if they actually connect to other stories. But within these stories, it, they're self-contained, they're very good, but you can feel that it's a greater world that it feels like she's developed. There are, there are things going on that feel like they're part of their own story. Um, and I'm going to have to find out somehow if there actually is more to these worlds that she's created. Uh, with that being said, the following story, What Dwells Within, is part of a bigger... Let's make sure that's the right one. Let's see. What page is... I'd hate to talk about the wrong story. Yep, okay. So What Dwells Within is part of a bigger world. Uh, it's a Jesse Shimmer story. I believe that is the character's name. Let's double check. Can't get to the right page. Yep, Jesse Shimmer. Uh, Lucy A. Snyder's debut novel. Is a Jesse Shimmer novel. I believe there are three. Well, I know there are three. I don't know that there are any more. I actually just bought the second one at Half Price Bookstore. Ordered books one and three on Amazon because this short story was so fantastic. And so obviously in this particular case, the Jesse Shimmer story, there is a much larger world. And so when you read this story, uh, you don't need to have read anything else to enjoy this story, but it does obviously talk about elements from her other works that feature Jesse Shimmer. Uh, so if you're like me, <laughs> you might go and get the books because they just seem really interesting. Uh, 
and then again the porcupine bo porcupine boy really liked that story a lot in the family is a quick story but i love it um the kind detective goes places i did not expect it to go uh, a preference for silence another i think that's a relatively quick one it is um <laughs> possibly my favorite title wake up naked monkey you're going to die uh that's one of the ones that's more of a christmas themed story than halloween uh the great voodoo teen linux zombie massacre linux linux the computer term that was a lot of fun and there's a a uh, copyright page in the back that tells you where these were published before and reading some of the the titles of where these things were published i can kind of see why these stories are what they are uh the house that couldn't clean itself another more lighthearted one after hours uh and then there's actually a little poem a little tiny poem after hours that gives you a warning that the last two stories are rated r and they're both very funny stories very good stories um the last one especially is kind of a meta story with another there's cthulhu mythos kind of stuff going on i really i really really like this collection uh lucier snyder first of all from ohio or lives in ohio so always appreciate that support the local support the locals um i may or may not have had a chance to meet her there was a convention i don't think they still do it and i can't remember the name of it but there was a convention <clears throat> uh down south I'm trying to remember where it was in ohio south of me so i'm near the lake um and i believe lucy snyder i don't know if she was ever an official guest or was just there because it was sort of in the neighborhood uh but i never got the chance to meet her unfortunately met some other great authors there had a great time hanging out with gord rollo and gene o'neill and some other folks one year uh got to meet gina Rinaldi. but we're not talking about all that we're talking about lucy a snyder and yeah i highly highly recommend this i think i just finished it have not rated it on goodreads uh, I think I'm going to give it five out of five. Every story in here is really good, whether it's horrifying or heartfelt or funny. They're really interesting stories with uh, interesting characters, great twists and turns, great world building. Uh, and again, the Jesse Shimmer, obviously a much bigger world because there's at least three novels uh, that feature that character, but the others as well hint at wider worlds with characters that i would love to read more about um so yeah i think i'm despite if you watched my last video which was another short story collection um i said it's rare that a short story collection or anthology is going to get five out of five because every story has to be a banger well i think lucier snyder did it these are all really really good stories um despite the false advertising of the cover uh, and the title. Um, this is book number three for my Halloween read this year, and well worth my time, but the Halloween connection is very thin. Uh, as I said, some like the one story essentially someone is going to a doctor's office and they're expecting to see all the fun halloween decorations that the doctor puts up every year the sort of goofy cardboard decorations that when he was younger thought they were goofy but now he appreciates them that's it that's the only mention of halloween but it's still a great story and uh that's the case with with everything that's in here so uh, Halloween season, Lucy A. Snyder, Raw Dog Screaming Press. I'm giving it five out of five. This is so, so good. 
And if I could reach that book over there, I'd show you the second Jesse Shimmer book. But frankly, it's too far away. <laughs> um, but I'm looking forward to reading those. Because she got me hooked with the Lucy Shimmer story. Jesse Sh Jesse Shimmer. I don't know why. I said, well, I said Lucy because that's the author. But Jesse Shimmer is the character. She got me hooked with the story that's in here. Um, so there you go. Five out of five. Uh, question for this video. Uh, well, I suppose. Uh, would you would you think that this is false advertising? This is a goofy question. It doesn't really matter, but I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. So if you pick up a book that says Halloween season, the little tagline, not your kid's Halloween, has this cover. And then the stories are barely, barely tangentially connected to Halloween. Would that bother you? Uh, doesn't bother me because I read some great, great stories. Um, and they do all technically take place at Halloween. That just has nothing to do with the stories. Um, but let me know. Would you, would you consider that false advertising? Or would you just be happy you read a book with great stories? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here at my channel, at the Low Budget Review Show. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K. E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. That's all I have for you. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.